Hi there, it's Davidas, Senior Product Expert, and today I would like to show you the newest update to our timeline view, the Timeline 2.0. With its release, we're introducing new features and updates to the Timeline view. First, you may have already seen that you can now add quarters to your timeline, specifically by choosing the month and applying to when do you want to start your quarters to be visible on your boards. Next, the card title visibility has been improved. Where it used to disappear during scrolling, it now remains in sight when you have the card on the board, like so. With that, we also added the option to showcase the name when the card is smaller than the title, like so. You can still see the title and the card. Talking about cards, previously, Favreau sizing and snapping cards was set to weeks and months, but now you can actually snap two specific dates on your timeline, like this. You can choose the exact month, date, and day that you want to choose on your cards. And with that, we've also included the option to showcase how long the card is. At the top, you can see that this card is four weeks and one day, this card is three weeks and three days, and this card is for four weeks. When increasing and decreasing, that showcases how long the card has been set up. Now let's take a look at card creation. When you press to create a new card, you can actually choose if you want the card to appear or not, to be a day, a week, a month, or just simply drag and drop through your timeline. With this new design option of letting you decide how long you want your cards to be, we've also introduced support for milestones. Cards can now be designed as milestones on the timeline, marked with a vertical line that runs through all the cards. That gives you a better visibility on your roadmaps and timelines when you don't want to miss any of your milestones. We've also added the option to showcase if there are any cards on the board that do not have a timeline set to them, thus not being visible on the timeline, but on the board. You can simply choose that card and add it to the timeline and then rearrange the date, depending on when do you want it to be. This gives you more visibility of overall cards on the board without losing track of them when you're working on your roadmaps and timelines. Last thing, to take a look at the card menu. We have redesigned the menu, bring you more additional options on the card without needing to actually open it. As always, you can open up the card, change the name, assign people, change the dates, and we also included some additional options, as converting the card into a milestone, breaking it down to a board, or as usual, applying a card template, changing colors, or just the removing the card. We've also included multiple fixes and design changes for the overall usage of the timeline view. And that's it for the timeline 2.0 update. Hope this was helpful. And as always, enjoy using Fabro.